Right now, Chris Rock breaking his silence after the infamous slap. He addressed the audience at his first show in Boston, where he kicked off his ego death world tour tonight. CBS 2's David Wade is outside the venue where the comedian is performing. 72 hours after the slap that was heard around the world, Chris Rock came here to Boston to the Wilbur Theater behind me, and to a sold out crowd, he broke his silence. Sort of. And I'll explain that in just a moment. First, there were no cameras inside, no video, because people had to hand over their cell phones at the door. So instead, we're going by first-hand accounts of people who were inside. And here's what they tell us happened. Chris Rock came out on stage and said to the crowd, he how sucks. was your weekend, which got a lot of people he laughing, sucks. because everyone knows he, he had an adventurous weekend. He then went on to say that he had a bunch of material for tonight and was going to focus on that. He said he was still processing what happened at the Oscars and he would have a lot more to say at a later date. Now, at the very same time, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences came out and said this afternoon that after Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, they asked him to leave and he didn't. So now there will be a disciplinary meeting over the next couple of weeks They'll be talking to Will Smith, and perhaps in the near future, we'll also hear more from Chris Rock. In Boston, I'm David Wade. Back to you. Thank you, David. By the way, Chris Rock performs at the Chicago Theater in October. Tickets are going for as much as $750.